Hello, good morning. Yes, so you are ready for your new lecture for vocabulary series. Before I start that, the students have given a lot many feedback and they said that there are some words which do not follow the root. I had discussed this earlier and I discussed it again. There is, if this is happening so, it is only because the prefix and the suffix here does not match, that is why. If you are taking up the word ambition and you say does not match to the root ambi, ambi means to ma'am. What about ambition? Ambition does not have any sense of to. I do agree reason, the word shun, t-i-o-n does not have a meaning. So, that is why it does not act as the basic root word. In that case, you can st be stuck. If you feel it, this is once in a blue moon, it is just you could say, uh, uh, if I could say this 10 percent of the series where you have this kind of a glitch maybe, you can take it. So, that is you have to, otherwise it is the root works very smoothly, the things are done. Right. So, start with our because last time I told you about the reading section and with this uh, new year celebration you must be already full set in full swing. Yes, pull up your socks, get ready, we have to clear clat. Yes, we have to clear clat. So, turning to our root section directly and taking up the root today is AD. The root AD means two or two words. The AD word means two or two words, advertise, adhere, adjust, adapt or admit. You can see the usage of AD in all of these first thing. Now, it is two words, two or two words. There is a difference in these prepositions. These two are the prepositions. There is a difference in these kinds of prepositions when you do them. So, when you do this kind of a thing like advertise it is your turn towards you, it grabs your attention. Adhere is something that you stick to means it is a kind of you know you want to be attached to it that is adhere, right. And uh, if I say adjust, you tilt towards it, you have to you know add, uh, act according to the situation and you have to work on that. Adapt is in fact the synonym of adjust only, you have to adapt yourself to uh, the changing scenario, the changing circumstances and admit is you accept something. Uh, you say that this was done or not. The basic concept behind these words is you are moving to or towards something, right. I will make up a sentence to explain further. He given, uh, he tried to advertise his talent, right. Do not, you should showcase or advertise your talent. Adhere to the rules of grammar. It is very important for CLAT preparation. He adapted or adjusted himself to the changing circumstances and scenario and he admitted his mistake. So, when you are having these words AD, it means two or two words something and that is why AD means same. Moving on to further words or further things with this, I hope you have understood all of these words, very simple. I want to tell you one important grammar rule attached with this. Please note here carefully. Now, the rule of grammar which I wanted to insist on, uh, adapt and adjust are followed by, this I you can see this I have added are followed by that is reflexive pronoun. Now, what is reflexive pronoun? The words I have written down which reflect about yourself, myself, ourselves, yourself, himself, herself and themselves. Any sentence you make, this is compulsory to be followed by reflexive pronoun. I am adding on vocabulary plus grammar to you and you should note it. There are 12 verbs which are always followed by reflexive pronoun. Adapt avail, avenge, revenge, exert, pride, enjoy, etcetera. These are always followed and these two are the same. So, you will say if you he adjusted himself and if the subject is not given, 
adjust or adapt yourself right subject is not given we take the second person i hope this is clear to you so please note down this and keep uh, you know making sentences keeping this grammar rule at the back of your mind that this is followed by a reflexive pronoun right now moving on to the next your uh, i hope everything is noted down okay anything that you have missed you could ask me again if you are not able to make the sentence anything that you are stuck with do let me know Moving on to the other words related to AD, that is move two or two words. Uh, adopt, you have to adopt to various things. So, uh, adopt means uh, to make a choice towards, matlab, turn towards in fact we could say. Very simple, adventure is a risky task, a kind of an enterprise, right. Advice is one who looks forward and the person to help him and kind of an aids you, helps you and advice. See the difference between the advice, V I S E and C E. This is a noun and this is a verb. So, if you get an X question like this, grammar goes hand in hand with this kind of vocabulary section. Okay, look at these words that I have framed for you, the sentences. Dash of teachers is very important. Which one will come? It is a noun or verb. See, this is already having a helping verb and this is a sentence. So, we have a S V O A formula that is subject, verb, object and adverb, right. So, when we have this subject, verb, object, adverb, the first word cannot be the verb right. So, in that case it would be a noun and so the answer would be advice of teachers is very important. Pay heed to my advice. Now, my plus my is a pronoun my plus noun right. So, if it is a noun again the answer would be right. Some of you take it for granted the first one was CE the second one would be SE they take it for granted not so. The third one they dash for the betterment. this is a verb. Right. So, we had also taken up the simple root along with this, we had taken up two or two words that is the words here. So, making a sentence for each of them, he adopted, uh, uh, Rani Lakshmi adopted a son, right, Tamudar. Uh, we all love adventures, going for adventures. He acted as my advisor, he is my confidant, you know, a kind of if I could say the friend, the alter ego acts as your best advisor. Alter ego means the other self, right? This is the root also, alter ego, the other self. It is the synonym for the word best friend, right? And I look forward to your advice. Please look forward to everyone who is your well wisher to his or her advice that is important again, right? Very good, okay. Moving to our next words in this, this two more words, simple words, adverb framed by the word ad and verb, very simple words in fact, add plus verb, this is adding meaning to the verb, they define verb, adjective or another adverb. Like, for example, she speaks cogently. Now, this is an adverb, this is describing the verb. She is very pretty. Pretty is an adjective, 
this is describing this is describing the adjective and another adverb like this is the same sentence if I write she speaks very cogently I would use two of the adverbs both of them are adverbs how cogently very cogently so we have two adverbs in this this is a simple definition for adverb for your grammar section because Elit and Clat has put up some questions of grammar too so you keep in mind and turning to adjectives the words which define or qualify noun or pronoun they qualify noun or pronoun the teacher taught us adverbs and adjectives today you know whenever these words are spoken nouns I did this in class 5 or 10 right if you did it in class 5 not the topic we are doing what are nouns or what are pronouns or what adjectives we are going in the words you get four words is this set is adjective is this set a noun is this set an adverb is this a uh, 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 kind of preposition so in that case you are not stuck you are able to understand you are able to do it perfectly and fruitfully right so the teacher also says adverbs and adverb verb adjectives adverbs are those words which describe verbs adjectives and another adverb and adjectives are those words which describe noun and pronouns all of you must be knowing if we say she uh, dances well so this is an adverb and she is uh, beautiful this is an adjective right I hope it is clear and one thing when I was about to write she is handsome this is sometimes stuck to the people they say she and handsome don't go together no it's not so if you have read the novels even of Jane Austen in the Victorian times she is handsome Emma Woodhouse was handsome clever and rich now the first line of the novel starts with this so please don't carry this misconception in your mind that the word handsome cannot be used for a female she is handsome is absolutely right it is not incorrect right so keep these tidbits the small little things of grammar also at the back of your mind when you are doing up the vocabulary section right so you've understood the root ad that is the root ad meaning to or the words this time we did some uh, words related to grammar along with this this was add on on to this i hope your reading section also you're doing well now taking up the next route for today that's a simple route and uh, this root has uh, words which have been in connection to various other words i wanted to take up a route where i'm able to complete it to dead self and uh, the route that follows here i would take up is the next root simple root that is aqua aqua means water right when we say aqua means water everybody knows that yes ma'am we are going to just go through the words once aquaculture is the cultivation of aquatic plants and breeding of aquatic animals for food right so when we say aqua water please keep in mind the root aqua means that is water so when we have agree also linked with this that is field right so aqua and agree if you are both merged together you can come up with various words we will be taking up more examples these were three very simple examples that I have given and I will be uh, continuing with this in the next lecture of our vocabulary series of aqua aquaculture is the cultivation of aquatic plants and proceeding uh, breeding of aquatic animals which are for food aquarium is a small tank that houses aquatic animals that is the animals which live in water and aquas is something which is related or connected with water right okay so i hope you like the series and you have made a various addition to your grammar and vocabulary so that is it for today i hope you would uh, write your comments and things your feedback in the uh, inbox and we will come to know about your feedback please do like and subscribe our channel thank you so much